This is Eliana here with Rambler TV and the whole Rambler TV crew. I'm Arielle Duncan. I'm LaCamia Roper. And I'm Kelsey Holland. And we are officially signing out for the last time this semester and me and Cam will be graduating. So to sum up for, <laughs> we're quite excited. Yes. To sum up for this semester, um, we started out with some crazy, crazy news. We had um, a budget cut as well as a tuition raise, 5% last fiscal year. Uh, we did a campus comment on that, me and Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Uh, wasn't expecting it because, you know, me and Ariella are going to be here for the next two or, or one more year left. Yeah. And um, we got to pay for higher tuition. <laughs> <laughs> So. But the president has promised that um, he'll be spending his grant well, trying to get more students in so that the budget does not decrease anymore, it increases, if not stays at the same place it is. Um, How many SGAs? Oh, yeah, SGA, we have a new president, Laura Alexander. Yes, she's the baddest. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's promised a lot of things for like student involvement and everything, so hopefully she gets on and popping. Yes, as an SGA representative, I'm looking forward to, if re-elected, I'm looking forward to seeing what we're going to do so far as SGA and how we're going to, um, I guess, take part in using the grant as well because that money is going to be allocated some way, I believe, through the whole campus. It's like you're trying to campaign on Rambler TV. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have the Trayvon Martin case, which obviously was national news. Um, a young 17-year-old boy was shot and killed by Zimmerman, and um, he's now actually just, he was arrested, now mm. he's been released on bail, mm. so we will see where that trial leads, but Cam and I did a really intense campus comment on that situation. Um, yeah, we did the Trayvon Martin um, campus comment, and that was kind of intense. A lot of people had different opinions about it, but everybody kind of basically agreed that Zimmerman should have been incarcerated, and he finally was, but now he's on bail, so it's kind of still some conflict issues going on. And I feel like that's going to be like an ongoing thing for yeah. some time now, because now people are more aware of racism going on around the world. And, and not only is it just the whole Trayvon Martin case, but even in Tulsa, I mean, just think about it, Oklahoma's a neighboring state that's not mm -hmm. too far from us, and there's stuff right. that happens right here in Texas every day that goes unnoticed and unreported, so. And yeah. I think it's important, too, for us to notice, like, there's Mexican on Mexican crimes that happen all the time, black on it's black, not white just, on white. It's, it's not just, not one, just race. one race. Yeah. And we need to put that in as a whole, like, to rest, not just against a race. Mm -hmm. but. What other news did we have? Oh, you were mentioning the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. Stepped it up with the stir fry. Stepping it up with the stir fry and the calf. So maybe they'll step it up a little more next year or something. Hope you guys get some good grove on. Better hours, maybe. That would be Yeah, so yeah. that's one thing that SGA is going to be working on so far as student life goes. Because we do have an international um, percentage of students that are here that aren't able to go home or not always able to fly back home during the holidays and for the school to totally shut down and not have any meal options and most students don't have vehicles so it's kind of hard for them to get food so that's one thing that um, the university as well as SGI I believe is going to be working on to help the students with because it's kind of unfair especially if even if you're not an international student and you're just living on campus it's hard to um, get food if you don't have a vehicle so yeah. hopefully that that will definitely be a change as well as the pool hours if we can get Ooh, that, ladies, get that, yeah. get that worked out, <laughs> as well as um, <laughs> renovations. I think that's another plan that um, Vice President Mendez was mentioning in his campaign, as well as getting the pool renovated. So hopefully that will be a great asset to the school. Yeah, I look forward to coming back here. You know, I'm not the biggest Wesleyan fan ever, but um, I, would hope, <laughs> I would hope that um, as an alumni coming back, I'd be proud of like coming to school here. Y'all would have improvements and mm -hmm. it'd be better for student life. Yeah, that'd be something good for everybody, like something they should have been worked on. But I know it's a long process to do. So hopefully, like she said, come back as alumni, come and see more things happening, right. more stuff going on with the school and improving, looking better, Maybe all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And not only that, oh, more recognition. Yes. Wesleyan goes unrecognized a lot because mm -hmm. we are so close to the city of TCU. Right. And there's so many more accomplishments that we do that go unrecognized. Unless it's on the website, you know, you don't ever hear on the news, Texas Wesleyan, no, TCU. You yeah. Know, it's, just, <laughs> it's, 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 a, you know, it's competitive. So hopefully, you know, we get more recognition as things progress yes. on campus. Yeah. We just gave you a shout out for conference. For conference. Yeah. yeah. We just talked about y'all in sports access. 
He won this week. first place, get rings, you know, I'm like some basketball player. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> Controversial, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just saying, we'll like, basketball gets most of the hype, yeah. yeah. But we have other sports, too. Exactly. And it's an accomplishment because it's Track and field didn't start till our freshman year. Mm -hmm. and now we're going into it's our junior two years year. Old, it's been two years old. It's been two years old. Already. Two years. I mean, first year we were second. This year we're first. We're just stepping it up every year. So. And yeah, so. y'all have like no seniors on your team. I mean, it's really one, a young yeah. team. Mm -hmm. so, one senior. Oh, one senior. Chris. Well, oh, on yeah. the girls team, I mean. Oh, girls team, They have yeah. no seniors on the girls team. Like, I think they're doing really well. They have a lot of potential. So, yeah. hopefully our athletic department it keeps be rolling be. the way they're rolling and get us some good coverage. I know the athletic department has ups and downs this semester. Last semester. Last semester. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. So hopefully after, even though we leave, y'all still get some recognition mm -hmm. out there because we talk about y'all all, all the time. time. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, for Texas Westland, track and field is one of the top sports here, along with basketball and softball and baseball and things like that. So we try to recognize everyone going on. So make sure you Keep checking out track and field because yeah. they're they're making some moves. Not just track and field, like all the sports. All the sports. Mm -hmm. all the sports. Just not basketball. Like it's just so boring. And support the girls' basketball team, y'all. I would like to see y'all at the games. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that about wraps it up for this semester of Rambler TV. And these two ladies will be taking over. So. If you are looking for a job, please contact Ariel Duncan or Kelsey Holland, or you can even talk to um, Dr. Kay Crawley, and that's in the OC Hall. Um, that's about it, guys. We're we love we do, but we're leaving. Yes. <laughs> I would like to say congratulations to Cam and Ellie. Thank you. Oh, yes, thank congratulations. You. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, Seniors, we moving on to bigger and better things. We're going to miss you guys. <laughs> we are. We're going to miss y'all. <laughs> We have to do a signing out. Everybody has to sign they out do. with the fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Eliana Mihanga. This is Aria Duncan. This is LaCamia Roper. And Kelsey Holland. Signing out. out. <laughs> oh.